Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to Beauty Diction. And in today's Friday Five, I'm going to be talking about five products that I almost always buy at the drugstore. These are things that just over the years I've decided it's not worth paying the extra money and buying a mid range or high end version of the product. Even though once in a while I will cave and buy the high end version just because I get sucked into packaging or maybe like a really pretty color. But for the most part, I think that these products I'm going to talk about are almost better at the drugstore or at least the same quality. So I really don't see the need to spend the extra money on them. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. And I'm gonna start with one that you guys are probably gonna guess already, and that is mascaras. Now, I almost never buy high-end mascaras anymore. I used to, but I've just come to realize that the drugstore ones are so good for the most part. I mean, you have great mascaras from Maybelline. Essence makes really nice mascaras for like a couple of bucks. Um, you have this Koki volume and length, which I'm wearing today. Um, I'll show you a before and after picture you can see it just really helps to open up my eyes gives lots of length and volume almost that false lash effect it doesn't smudge under my eyes at all which I found that a lot of high-end formulas actually do I also really enjoy the mascara revolution from makeup revolution I know a lot of people don't like this one because it's super clumpy and it is but as long as I wipe the brush off first I get some of the biggest lashes I've ever gotten from any mascara with this one um, also the covergirl super sizer which I don't have here with me today because because I lost it somewhere in between here in Florida, but the reason that I brought it to Florida is because it just lasts such a long time. I knew I was gonna be out in the heat and humidity, and even though it's not a waterproof formula, it acts like a waterproof formula. It doesn't smudge. It'll literally last me from early in the morning when I first put it on all the way until bedtime and doesn't smudge, doesn't flake. It's absolutely amazing. So over the years, I've just come to realize that mascara is one of those products that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a really good one. And yes, there are really good high-end formulas as well. The It Cosmetics Superhero one comes to mind for sure, um, Dior Show. But I just feel like why spend the money on those when these are so good? Another thing I cannot bring myself to spend a lot of money on is lip gloss. Lip gloss, I feel like, is kind of similar across the board, whether you're spending a ton of money on it or just a couple of bucks. They all kind of feel the same to me. They all kind of act the same to me. And yes, there are definitely some sticky formulas at the drugstore, but there are also some really high-end sticky formulas too. So I think you just kind of have to test them out and see what formula works the best for you. I have definitely found some favorites at the drugstore, so I just want to mention those quickly. First up is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. And this is almost like a lip gloss slash treatment. It's so hydrating on the lips and it almost, it doesn't have plumping ingredients, but it does add a ton of moisture. It has hyaluronic acid in it. So it does help to sort of plump out those lip lines a little bit and just make my lips look more healthy and more smooth. So that's why I love these and they come in so many different colors. They just feel super cushiony and plush on the lips. They're not sticky at all. So that's why I enjoy these a lot. And I think they're better than so many high-end lip glosses that I've tried. Another one that's a favorite is the Milani Amori Shine lip glosses. These have a little more color in them than the Neutrogena do. They're a little bit more pigmented on the lips, but if you like a lot of color and you don't like those drying matte liquid lipstick formulas, these are a great alternative. Of course, they're not gonna last as long on your lips, but that's kind of the nature of lip gloss. Another formula I've really been loving from the drugstore is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. These have peptides in them to help stimulate the collagen in your lips and help smooth and plump them over time. Um, they also have high hyaluronic acid as well so they're really nourishing they come in a bunch of different colors they just released a whole bunch of new ones so these are just my favorites and the ones that I use the most off the top of my head but there's so many great lip gloss formulas at the drugstore I just can't bring myself to spend high-end prices on them another product that the drugstore does really well are highlighters um, this flower beauty highlight palette is one of my favorites I think this is better than any high-end highlighter I've ever tried it's so smooth they melt into your skin so beautifully and I mean the shine on them is incredible I've tried so many high-end highlighters like the ones from Becca for example and they're really really good but I don't think they're any better than the ones at the drugstore another great example of fantastic highlighters are the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powders there's almost nothing that can beat these and these these are just as shiny as the Becca highlights. They're so smooth. They come in so many different colors. So you really cannot go wrong with these and they're under $5. Um, another great drugstore option are the Master Chromes from Maybelline. These are super shiny and amazing as well. I only have these in two colors because there's not a lot that suits my fair skin, but still really good. And then um, one more that I have to mention is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighters. If you like more of a subtle highlight, a really natural highlight, 
it, there's like almost nothing that can beat these. I reach for these way more than any of my higher end brands. So when it comes to highlighters, I feel like the drugstore has us covered. There's no need to spend money on the expensive ones. And then the fourth product on my list is definitely blush. There are so many amazing blush formulas at the drugstore. There's almost no need to buy higher end ones. And I admit I am guilty of buying some higher end blushes like the Laura Geller ones. The ones from the Balm are amazing, but it's funny because I never spend full price on those either. I always buy the Laura Geller baked ones during the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale and I always buy the balm ones when they have their 50% off sale which makes them like 10 bucks anyway um, so I really have such a hard time spending a lot of money on blush I rarely do I feel like the only time is when um, a higher-end brand comes out with a palette maybe like I bought that Jouer palette not that long ago and I do really love it and I use it I think it was just like I got sucked into the packaging and I got sucked into all of the colors that were in it they were just so pretty but I have so many nice drugstore blush palettes as well I, I feel like it's it's hard it's very very rare that I'm gonna spend a lot of money on blush so some of my favorites I would say my number one favorite drugstore blush is these flower beauty flower pots I hope they come out with more colors because they're just the smoothest most easy to blend blush I have ever tried at any price point and the colors are so beautiful as well most of them are matte shades even one with shimmer though like warm hibiscus which is honestly the shade that I almost reach for the most um, it's it's not overly shimmery it doesn't like draw attention to my texture or anything because it's just a really nice beautiful sheen it's not really glittery or anything like that so these are amazing I also love the wet n wild color icon blushes these are classic I think they're about $2.99 the colors are so fantastic and the formula is great too they just blend so beautifully on the cheeks and they're just so incredibly affordable another brand that makes amazing blushes these are not at the drugstore but they're still affordable is ColourPop ColourPop's pressed powder blushes. I feel like nobody talks about these, but they are so good. They actually remind me of the Balms formula. Um, they're just really smooth, really easy to blend on the cheeks. They look really natural. I have a whole bunch of shades and every time they come out with new colors, I always look to see if there's any that will suit my fair skin tone, which, you know, I have to be careful with blush that they don't get too dark. And I think some of these, because it's hard to know when you're buying online, a few of them are a little bit too dark for me, but I can still sheer them out if I do want to wear that particular color. And I just, there's a few that I wear all the time. Today, I'm actually wearing the shade to the 10. This is just one of my favorites. It's just the perfect peachy pink matte I absolutely love this color I reach for it constantly so um, ColourPop is another great option and then one more I want to mention because this is one of my favorites too are the Milani baked blushes these if you love a baked blush like the Laura Geller ones try these because for a much better price they're pretty much almost the same thing most of them do have a little bit of shimmer to them but most of them I feel like the shimmer in them is really smooth and I love wearing these too because I feel like when I put them on I don't really need to even add highlighter it's just kind of like a blush highlight in one just makes my cheeks look really glowy and pretty I'm actually also wearing luminoso on my cheeks today I topped the ColourPop one with it just to add a little bit of sheen and they're very similar in color as well but I just wanted a little bit of sheen to it so I put this one on top and I love it so much it's probably my favorite color or one of them so out of all the blushes that I have and I have a lot of them these are the ones I find myself reaching for the most so that kind of tells me right there that I don't need to be spending a lot of money on blush because there are so many great drugstore options and then product number five is lipstick and this is another thing that I just can't spend a lot of money on I do have a few high-end lipsticks but for the most part when I buy a lipstick it's drugstore there's so many good ones um, probably my favorite would be these flower beauty petal pout lipsticks probably six or seven out of ten times in a video if I'm wearing lipstick it's this and I get so many questions all the time and I always get so many compliments when I wear these colors there's just something about them it's not even the formula but the colors that they chose they just did such an amazing job they're super flattering I feel like I can wear almost every color in the range and it looks good on me it's one of those really weird things I don't know how they did it it's just they got the undertones right and the colors right or something my three favorites that you see me wearing in the video all the time are probably naked blush um, spiced petal and warm sand these three are the ones that I reach for constantly and the formula is so good on these two they're very smooth they have a satin finish they're really really comfortable to wear they're pretty long wearing even though they're not a matte formula and when they do start to wear away they wear away really evenly they don't sink into lip lines they're also very lightweight it almost feels like you're wearing nothing at all on your lips which I really love too because I hate feeling like sticky or tackiness on my lips so 
These are just holy grail for me. They're amazing. And then another lipstick I really enjoy are these ones from Burt's Bees. And I really don't hear a lot of people talking about them, but I'm wearing um, the shade Suede Splash today. This is one of my favorite shades. It's like a warm nude. It's so beautiful. And these are, I would say, maybe slightly more comfortable to wear than the flower ones. Not that these are drying by any means. They're not. These just feel a little bit more hydrating. They're almost like a lip balm lipstick hybrid so they don't necessarily last as long as the flower ones but they still have amazing staying power for how emollient they are they really surprised me by how well they stay on and I also just discovered these Milani um, bold color statement matte lipsticks um, a couple weeks ago they had sent me a lip vault you guys may have seen it during my Sunday haul and I've been wearing these a lot too and they remind me quite a bit of the flower ones they're maybe just slightly more drying but they did really surprise me for not being super drying and for a matte lipstick, that's awesome. I have really dry lips as it is, so I have to be careful with what formulas I use. And these are really, really smooth. They have that nice lightweight texture, very similar to the Flower Beauty ones. And they come in so many beautiful colors as well. I've been having a lot of fun wearing these around. So again, lipstick is just one of those things that I have some high-end ones, but I don't feel like they're any better than some of these ones that I found at the drugstore. So I just tend to reach for the drugstore ones all the time. So anyway, guys, I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Which products do you buy mostly drugstore and then vice versa? Which ones do you buy more high-end? I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!